President Biden asserting his executive privilege for the audio of his interview with special counsel Robert Hur, who investigated his handling of classified documents while Republicans are trying to hold the attorney general in contempt. Our D.C. Bureau Chief Ben Kennedy live at the White House now with much more. Ben. Calvin, GOP lawmakers say they need those audio files. The transcripts are not enough. And it comes to the White House said President Biden took this action at the request of the attorney general. A major move by President Joe Biden Thursday after he declared executive privilege over interview recordings with special counsel Robert Hur on his handling of classified documents. These House Republicans want the Department of Justice to the turn them over as part of their impeachment inquiry. President Biden is apparently afraid for the citizens of this country and everyone to hear those tapes. The DOJ found evidence that Biden willfully retained and disclosed classified material, but adds the evidence did not establish his guilt beyond a reasonable doubt, with her describing the commander in chief as a sympathetic, well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory. The, the American people will not be able to hear why prosecutors felt the president of the United States was, in special counsel Robert Hur's words, a, quote, elderly man with a poor memory and thus shouldn't be charged. The special counsel has already made the majority of the subpoenaed materials available to GOP lawmakers. It includes transcripts of the interviews with Biden, but now they want the audio files. Files like these need to be protected, uh, and so the president made his determination at the request of the attorney general. The testimony you're about to give before this committee. The House panel is now set to advance contempt of Congress proceedings against Attorney General Merrick Garland. We have gone to extraordinary lengths to ensure that the committees get responses to their legitimate requests. But this is not one. To the contrary, this is one that would harm our ability in the future to successfully pursue sensitive investigations. Now this move by Biden, the DOJ says shields Attorney General Merrick Garland from any criminal exposure. Reporting live at the White House, Ben Kennedy, Local 10 News. Okay, Ben, thanks a lot.